Hello, this is Dr. Lawrence Janowski, Medical Director for Sonata Aesthetics in Broomfield, Colorado. I've been an aesthetic physician for over 18 years, and in that time, I've honed various techniques to help patients overcome one of their greatest fears, a painful injection experience. I had a patient say to me the other day as I was injecting her, Dr. J, I hardly feel anything that you're doing. You're like a ninja. And I thought to myself, wow, that's a really nice compliment. To be able to deliver painless or nearly painless injections is an art that I've perfected over many years. And now I'd like to share some of my techniques, tips, and tricks with you, courtesy of the Injection Ninja. Hi, it's Dr. Janowski, the Injection Ninja, giving you tips on how to have less pain, less bruising, and happier patients. Today, I just want to talk about blending filler. Blending filler is a fantastic idea for a number of reasons. Once you blend the filler with saline, you will have less pressure, so it will be easier to push, it will be easier to inject, there'll be less viscosity to the, to the product. It also will hydrate the product, so you're hydrating the product ahead of time rather than having swelling afterwards, so it can reduce the amount of swelling that you see. It also feels like you're just working with more product because now you have an expanded product with some saline. The other extra little tip that I do in, in addition to saline is I put a small amount of extra lidocaine with epi. That little bit of epi can help with bruising as well. So there's lots of reasons why I blend my fillers and I pretty much do it all the time, one to one. The only time I won't do it is for noses typically. Even the most firm fillers like Restylane Lift do fantastically when you blend them. So I'll just quickly demonstrate how I do that. So I'm just going to demonstrate how I blend one syringe. Although typically in my practice, what we'll do is we will blend 10 syringes of a product at the same time by using a 20 cc, two 20 cc syringes, 10, 10 syringes go into one uh, 20 cc and then the other 20 cc will be our dilution. So I'm just gonna demonstrate one. So if you wanna just do one at a time, I will use two 3 cc syringes. And so what we'll do, and we have a connector, is we'll place the product into one 3 cc syringe, just pop it in there. The other 3 cc syringe, we're gonna take one cc of saline, plus a tiny, tiny amount of some lidocaine with epi. And by tiny, I just mean one small notch is, is enough. We're just adding a little extra numbing and a little extra vasoconstriction. Now we connect the two and we just mix. So you just have to remember that now two cc's is one syringe. And we can load it back up into our original syringe and inject one cc at a time. And now we're ready to go with our blended one-to-one -one product. So that's it. Blending one-to-one -one is a wonderful thing to do with any filler. I use the entire Restylane family and I do it with every single product. It gives you more product. You feel like you're using more product. And so it goes a little bit further. It's easier to push with less viscosity. It prehydrates the product. And with that little extra bit of lidocaine with epi, you get a little bit of vasoconstriction to help you with your bruising. So it's a wonderful new product that you've created from your existing products. So I hope you like that tip. This is Dr. Janowski, the Injection Ninja, with tips for less bruising, less pain, and happier patients. Good luck.